fucking hot. Fucking hell. Tomorrow, it's bank holiday and we're meant to be getting better weather. Uh, not better weather, shitter weather, which I'd literally much rather have because I'm sweating my nipples off my fucking chest. And they're big nipples. <laughs> My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we are talking about, I can't remember, let's look at the book. Oh, that's it, ceramic ball bearings, and people saying that ceramic ball bearings do not need lubrication. Yes, they do. What the fuck are you talking about? Now, you can use ceramic ball bearings in very, very low loading applications where you do not have to use lubrication. Um, this is all to do with the galling effect, or the lack of the galling effect. Um, with ceramic on ceramic or hybrid bearings where they actually have steel races and have ceramic balls. Ceramic balls or ceramic bearings in general are kind of like the the generation two of the ball bearing design or roller bearing design or what have you. Um, ceramic bearings basically they're just harder, they are tougher and they are resistant, they're very therm thermally insulating so they don't absorb heat so that because they don't absorb heat uh, you know as well their thermal conductivity is shite compared to steel it means that they don't swell which means that they don't bind which means that there is less of a need for lubrication now if you put these bearings under heavy load you know say in an engine or something like that then they will need lubrication the advantages are that they don't gall that their particle generation is nowhere near as big as steel bearings so there's not as much shit in your oil and um, that they generally just last longer, they are tougher and there's a big definition difference between tough and hardness but they are harder and they are tougher generally um, so yes, ceramic ball bearings aren't this frictionless bullshit that I see and I did do a check as well, I looked on Google just uh, do ceramic bearings need lubrication? There's lots of things that say no. For very light loading, you know, in some electric motors and stuff like that, where um, you know they're very well balanced and you know it's, it's all rotational. There's no real side loading or thrusting. Um, you know they are quite good and all the rest. Of it, but we're talking about you know small loads here. Don't get some bigger, really expensive ceramic bearings. Stick them as your main bearings and just go, ah, fuck it, it'd be right. You know, there's also people talking about plastic bearings, you know, polymer bearings and all the rest of it. Some of these plastics, um, you know, like Captain and stuff like that, and some of these Iamides and blah, 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 Aramids and Aramides and so on. Some of these bearings are quite cool and they're getting to the point where they're nearly competitive with standard bearings, so to speak. Uh, you know, not high precision steel and chrome only steel bearings and what have you but these bearings you know people think oh well ceramic bearings why um, people have commented why aren't they stick ceramic bearings in two strokes they don't need lubrication I've already said it hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit 